Hey guys, this is Swan Tom Girlie. Um, I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks. Um, that's just due to um, me being out with friends and me being so busy that I haven't actually had a chance to just sit down and talk to my camera or actually get anything. But yesterday I was out, I was out shopping in town and me and Mr Big Red, 1990 Chris, we went in to our local town and um, I'd found two CEXs near us. I'd been to the one, um, that's the one where I picked up all the other CEX DVDs but I thought I'd take them in to the town one because I thought it would have been bigger. But we arrived and it was really tiny and we didn't think there would be any wrestling DVDs at all. But as I'm sure as you watched Chris's video, Chris got quite a lot now. But um, I only got two and he spotted these for me and told me they were really good. So I picked them up. So the first one I got was the dearest one, was No Way Out 2002. Um, I've seen a lot of people looking for this one. Apparently it's quite rare. So. Um, um, I would say I picked this up for a good price at £10. I um, know it's a little dearer than what I would go for for a DVD but I've been told it's rare. So it didn't come with any inserts but it came with a disc. The disc has no scratches or smudges so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's added to my collection. Uh, it's a very nice DVD. Uh, the NWO is in it. I've never seen the NWO so it would be good. Hold up. Dapper, you're making noises so I'm going to turn you down a wee bit. You're okay. It's just a big fuzzy noise. Sorry, my friend Jennifer's here on Skype with me. She's got a wave, but I'm not going to show her to the camera. But we've been on talking today. So she's got front row seats to this video. She's sitting watching from the sidelines. So that's um, Green Pistols 182. Yep. Oh, I got it this time. I got it right, Green Pistols 182. She's pretty cool. She, um, she puts up all her Green Day, um, Green Day videos, isn't it? Yeah, any concerts that Jennifer goes to, she has videos up, so definitely go check her out. Um, but yeah, sorry, she was making me a wee bit of noise there, so I turned her down, but she's okay now. We can't really hear her now, it just sounds like there's a big truck in the background at all times. Oh, don't worry. But yes, um, second DVD I picked up was Six Pounds, and again, Chris picked it out for me. Um, it's Vengeance 2001. Um, he said this was a rare one, so I'm going to go by him and... I've spotted the women's championship match on the back of this so it's pretty awesome so um, I'm really excited to watch this one because it's one of the older ones and I haven't seen it it came with an insert about it being NTSC video format so you might have to check that out and um, the disc was in good condition as well hardly any scratches hardly any smudges so yes yeah, so that was the first place we went to see X Chris picked up a lot more DVDs than me, but <laughs> I picked up these two to add to my collection, which I'm pretty happy with. I can score them off my list now. Even though I said I wouldn't be picking up any more DVDs, I had to pick up those while we were out. And then we headed into um, the town in Belfast, which is pretty big. It was raining like mad, which explains my hair being all curly at the front and all at the sides. But we survived the rain. None of us melted. Um, Chris's hair didn't melt. Chris's hair stayed up the whole way, whereas everyone else's went funny. Um, but we went in town, had a lot of fun in town, went to loads of shops, went to Forbidden Planet, it had nothing, it had GFC and TNA figures. Um, we went into a couple more shops and looked for some WWE stuff, nothing had it, and the books were quite pricey in Waterstone, so we didn't pick up any autobiographies. But I did drag Chris um, to Smith's, my Smith's near me and dragged them in and they got loads of new ones so um, I decided to purchase a figure because I've been holding off for weeks on buying a figure because I've had no money and because I was waiting for the trip yesterday so I went in and Chris got the Ted DiBiase one and I had a bit of trouble choosing which one I wanted because there's so many pre ones but I ended up going for the one he wanted um, the Big Show one with the two belts um, the belts are gorgeous, I love the belts in this and I love the figure, it's really quite heavy this one which is quite strange but that's because it's probably the belts are added to a wee bit of weight in that but it's a very pretty figure, they had all five, all six elite figures in which is pretty surprising for Smiths because Smiths usually don't have hardly any of them but they got these in and they haven't got the new, they've still got the series 11 in but um, I've only got a couple left to get in that and we got summer slam ones in and the double packs and they have some of the old ones like over the, over the limit and stuff but I went for an elite because I haven't got an elite in absolute donkeys 
So, um, but yes, they put the prices up, which I'm not too happy about. They kept the late prices the same, which I'm happy enough with. If they put them up, I would have been a bit annoyed. But they put normal figures up in price, and they put the double packs up in price, so I'm not too happy about that. But yes, um, there's, I don't know, probably either videos before this off the trip, or there's going to be videos after this off the trip, because I captured Chris's mark out moment in Smith's, where he, um, got very very excited over the figures and did this big gasp and was getting very very excited um, so I'll put them up either before this video or after this video but um, just a quick thank you to all my subscribers um, for saying hello to Jennifer who's still at the side watching very quietly she's been good over there I can just hear and I'm like oh Jennifer's there I'll have to talk to her um, but yeah Screen Pistols 182 definitely go check her out um, the UK Rampage guys are still unbelievably awesome and they're really nice so definitely go check them out. Go we'll follow them, subscribe them, watch their videos, they're awesome. Um starting to sound like Zack Ryder there. Um but yes, we 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 know it. Um but yes, I think that's it. So that's my pickups, my two DVDs and my beautiful new elite figure. Unfortunately I don't have six DVDs to pick up, like Chris did. Just lucky him for the 60 DVDs. Um, but yes, it was a good day and I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to do it again sometime. So thanks guys for watching and I'll have my pay-per-view um, thoughts probably Sunday morning before the actual pay-per-view that night. So I shall do that soon and I shall see you soon. Yeah, bye I bye. still have to put up my London photos by Gotham in July. Will you take that away from me? Ashley loves the camera. Yes, I love the camera. Chris? We got some We're going yes. shopping for the camera. Hilly, <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. Anna, what are you eating? We are all eating the same, well no, me and Dan are eating the same sandwich. What are you eating? Food. Food, what type of food? Very descriptive. Nice food. <laughs> nice food? Ben anti-social on the phone. He's got his blackberry. <laughs> Her man's iPhone. Yep. Got the bear phone. You always think about the gear. Thai classics though. They actually have a really big collection here. There's they WrestleMania, the new one. Have you got a chip? No. Get two. You get a chip. But there is a lot. See any other? Yes, there's loads <laughs> here. This is Robbie, him and his HMB. Yeah, he always goes through. Oh, it's all now, is it? It's all. Yes, it's all. Were you just talking to the. <laughs> thinking I'm flipping with some recording? I didn't have my camera face on. So. Uh, top drum. Um, I have some of those. You have <laughs> those, don't you? Yeah. And they're going to bring out like a new elite one of him. Oh, they've got the new elite ones in. <gasps> Oh. I've already got the key in one from this though, so it's okay. Oh, did you? We can calm down, sorry. We can calm down. There's the summer song one too. That's a nice one there, isn't it? The big show with the belts, yeah. Usually they only have John fucking Cena. Yeah, he is. Got on new ones. I could be tempted for that. Um.